at this time, I just want to introduce to you somebody that I think can really help turn this program around. A coach that I hired because I was impressed with his knowledge of the game. His passion as a coach blew me away. Everything else that's on top of that, in terms of who he is and what he does on a day-to-day -day basis, inspires me. Your new coach, Rob Mendez. It was awful. It was really, really awful. I didn't have a choice to have an abortion, so so I had to 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 keep Robert. In the back of my mind, I'm asking why, why my son? You know, less than 100 born like him in the world. What am I going to do with this boy? It was hard to see him. I. I really didn't want to see Robert, so I didn't see little Robert for about two weeks because I, I just I didn't know what to do. I just remember staring. You know, there was a lot of staring. It would piss me off really bad. Like he was not a human or something. But he's different. I'm on your wrist, yeah! He sees people staring as an opportunity. Hey, everyone up there, you know me, Robert Mendez. Things that you and I get to do in 10 minutes might take him an hour, but he never complained about it. Robert was just a really easy child. And he just was really, really happy. What's your favorite team? San Francisco 49. He's got a gift that doesn't require him to be physical. Making him aware of that, I think he just took the ball and ran. I think the most difficult part about having no arms and no legs is simply not being able to play sports. I don't show it, I'm good at not showing it, but yeah, I, I, I get mad. I get mad at God, I get mad at the Lord. I mean, like, why? His freshman year, and he was standing behind the fence at a distance watching them practice. That was the beginning. We wanted to get him involved in the program, so we invited him to be our manager. They didn't know what I can do. They obviously knew I couldn't play, but just to include me, it made me feel a part of it. You know, it made me feel, I guess you can say, normal. He paid attention to us as coaches, but he learned the game playing Madden football. He created game plans on Madden, and then he'd come to practice and try to create the same game plans and execute them the same way. I started giving Robert a little bit more responsibility with my quarterbacks. Eyes on the quarterback, guys. Eyes on the quarterback. Eyes on the quarterback. Eyes on the quarterback. And the next thing you know, he was there running the drills for us. Go, 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 go. Set him up. Set him up. When you roll out, big eyes, big eyes, big eyes, OK? His ability to study the game and his ability to translate those things to the kids exactly. is unmatched by most of the coaches that I know. Right in front of the line, right in front of the line. Ram over W orbit, 46 power. Let's go. Good job. We cannot beat ourselves. Just... I've been overlooked the last three or four years. I've been ready for it. When I go to a job interview, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna, scaring is not the right word, surprise them. And I don't know how they're gonna take the surprise. As he rolls out, to be brutally honest, when I first saw that, I'm like, how can this guy coach? And as he comes close, he goes, give me a fist pump, give me a fist pump. I just gave him a little fist pump right there on his shoulder, and all that nerves that I had was just melted away. We had other applicants 
but I knew in my heart that it would be a great fit for these young athletes. I remember when Coach Cable hired me, cruising off the campus, I was, yes! I just felt really accomplished. Because it took me so long. I knew I've, I've been ready for it. And I've been overlooked. And finally, somebody gave me the opportunity, so I really appreciated that. At this time, I just want to introduce to you your new JV head coach, Rob Mendez. Appreciate that, Coach Cable. Thank you, Coach. You know, football is my passion. This is going to be my 13th year coaching, and I can't wait to get to know every single one of you. Believe in yourself, believe in your teammates, and believe in what you're doing. Are we clear, gentlemen? Yes, sir. All right, I'm excited, guys. Obviously, it was a little shocking, and there was jokes going around. Typical teenagers, you know, a guy with no arms or legs, not a lot of people have seen that. If you're taken back, that's just natural and that's human. But after the first two seconds, it's just a normal guy. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how experienced you are, you guys are gonna do everything as a team. Though he may not look like a coach, he definitely acts like one. Lex 9, 157! So what we're gonna teach right now is called 31 Zone. Which... His knowledge of the game for somebody who hasn't actually gone through it is impressive. On his phone, he could diagram a play faster than I can do with pen and paper. There's definitely doubters out there, like parents. My God, my son is getting coached at quarterback from a guy that has no arms, no legs. One, two, plant. Good. That lights a fire under my butt and probably gets me excited to really just try to prove people wrong about it. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. When they see him and witness him and hear him, I'd like to believe that they take a moment to evaluate themselves. And anything that they've gone through in life can't be more difficult than what he endures on a daily basis. One thing I care about more than anything is being a family. That is one thing I take pride on. I love people. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love everyone. So if you guys can't show love on this football field, then you better get off of it. Towards you, Aiden, who, who am I gonna go to? Mark, Mark. <laughs> It was a fractured orbital bone, and my cheekbone is fractured as well. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't chew. I just felt bad for him. You know, he's got a hard life, and I try to make it as easy as I can. Things that you and I take for granted, like brushing your teeth, or washing your face, or taking a shower, or going to the restroom. Robert needs someone to help him. He's tough. Two days later, he was at his practice. Hey, Jack, why now? Why now? Why now? Both of you. And his thing is, no, I got to be there for the kids. Hey, go to the flat. Go to the flat. Go to the flat. He's been waiting to be a head coach for a long time. I didn't want to let them down. I didn't want to let the kids down. I just can't stay away, I guess. Me being challenged has been my motivation. All I gotta say is, who says I can't? Nobody! Who says I can't? Nobody! Who says I can't? Nobody! Who says I can't originally came from me just having a drive to accomplish whatever people doubted me for. Who says I can't? Nobody! 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 He's willing to do all of that, and what are we willing to do?
It's go time. We've been working hard all summer long. Prospect on three. One, two, three, prospect. Go kick ass. Let's go. Let's go. One, six, 38 stretch. That's how you do that. That's how you do it. Devin, let's go. Those kids fought every single game. I mean, I can't remember one game that we were bigger than the other team, but damn it, we got the job done. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We got the momentum. Keep it up. Let's go. JV team in the last 10 years has had mostly losing seasons. He just really has done a job that I haven't been able to see other coaches do at that level before. I'm trying to send my Y, Sandro, whoever it is, over the middle, because it's going to be right here, over the middle. Let's go! Yeah! Give me a hug, both you guys. Good job, guys. Appreciate it, guys. All right, let's go. Good morning and hello. Prospect and Soprano High. Winner today wins the league. Remember this. I'm proud of every single one of you. But oh, damn it, we're not done yet. So let's go finish the job off right now. Might take a miracle play to score the only points of this contest. Passes off to his right, intercepted. 437 to play in the fourth quarter. Soprano looking for the first points. Kick on the way, has the distance, and it's good. And Soprano takes a 3-0 lead. Let's just execute, guys. I believe you right now, okay? This is for league right here, okay, you guys? Hey, Rex 9 left, 180 smash, okay? Let's do it. Fourth and 14 for the Panthers. Fourth down play, Jackson off to his left, and it's incomplete. Soprano gets the win and takes the division and title for the win this afternoon over Prospect. Okay. Or... <laughs> Come on, man. Family's the most important thing. Remember that, okay? That's what we built this team off of, was family, okay? We got good days and bad days, man. Yeah, we came this far, bro. Today, as a team, it's okay. Well, I'm, I'm very proud of the whole team. It's gonna hurt today. And that's okay if it hurts because we cared a lot. Because we love this game of football. I really sincerely want you guys to understand how much I appreciate this. You guys have given me a lifetime of memories. Our opponents, they'd always doubt him because they see a man in a wheelchair. To us, we see our coach who's perfect. When we're pushing him off the field after games, it makes me feel like proud to have him as my coach. Let's go with that flood play. These kids would follow him no matter where he'd go. And you can actually see the changes in the kids. Great game. Can I give you a hug? Hey, can I give you a hug? So sweet, so, so, bro. Okay. Can I give you you want the best for your children, and I told him one time, man, you know, there's not a lot of money in this, Robert. And he told me, not everybody does what they do for money. He's right. They gave me the feeling of importance. And I don't think they know that and, and uh, understand that. Maybe they will one day, but uh, <laughs> I love those kids. And I'm always going to remember them. Yeah. I think we make a perfect team. Can we agree on that? Yes, coach. Can we agree on that? Yes, coach. Who says I can't? Nobody. Who says I can't? Nobody. Who says I can't? Nobody. Yeah.